downtown Holland and I am in a new to open store called Kitchen Zero. It's going to be a pretty fancy a creperia or crepery, I guess they call them. Uh, and I'm looking at an amazing work of art. This is a large mural. Uh, we'll find out exactly how long, probably around 45 feet long here and some 13, 14 feet tall. Uh, done by a local artist, Kyle DeGroff. And I am meeting Kyle tonight for the first time to ask questions about this wonderful work of art and how he is doing this. It's still in the process of being done. And this is Kyle. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. How's it going? That's going okay. I, I was happy to meet you until I saw that block M on your <laughs> shirt. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm still pleased to meet you. You're a fellow Spartan fan too, aren't you? Yeah, I try to be when okay. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Thank yeah. you. Great to meet you, and thank you again for spending this time with me tonight. Likewise. Looking forward to learning all about this amazing art. Has there a name or title for this work of art? To be honest, uh, not at this point, but okay. I mean, maybe if something creatively strikes me in the night uh, all right, as good. I finish, who knows? Good. Maybe something will come up. Looking forward to hearing what that'll be. Yeah. So tell us about the mural, what its goal is, uh, what its purpose is. Okay. And we're right here in Kitchen Zero. It's going to open, I guess, in a few weeks from now. Yeah, I uh, I think they're planning an opening date somewhere in October or November. So, okay. Right. Um, but as far as the mural goes, I mean, basically, I wanted to create something that can relate to the business that the sp that it's going in, obviously. So, you know, being that it's a kitchen and locally sourcing like really great produce and and product and so forth, I really wanted to highlight just the I don't know just the raw essence of you know fresh veggies and fruits and then all the colors that come with them I think that it really adds a dynamic energy to the space okay. just based on you know how it was predominantly white up until this point so it kind of offers another level of energy so an abstract of good things to enjoy yeah I think I'm meeting a visual art and culinary art yeah oh, that's pretty neat so as the takeaway when um, diners are here enjoying this you want them to interpret this as an abstract of the good things to enjoy. Well, and I think more so than an interpretation, I, I would probably want to create a feeling. Just like okay. create a feeling that is accurate for the atmosphere. So being that it is maybe a morning brunch kind of lunch atmosphere, having all these colors adds a little bit more dynamic day type energy so just really kind of want them to feel like they're in an appropriate space for you know why they're here oh that's wonderful so, so dimensions you have three panels here each panel is about how large uh, about 13 feet wide by 14 feet tall okay approximately so about 45 feet then long without the yep. post or pillars yep. in the middle of it okay. i'd say so all right so why why this imagery why did you use the more of a block almost a cubistic approach to your abstract? Uh, I think for me personally, I, I think I tend to kind of lean towards that style a little bit more. Being a graphic designer by trade, I tend to do a lot of digital straight line vector work. So this is kind of relating to a process that's been very familiar to me and a style that's been very familiar. So. I think it's just, it's easier for me to kind of get lost in a creative space when I don't have necessarily uh, wow. restrict myself by the, the, the content or the subject. Sure. So you mentioned the process. Talk to us about the process. What, what has been the process? Um, well, a lot of it, you know, there's a lot of brainstorming and really trying to conceptualize something that's appropriate for, you know, who, whoever I do work with. So. Obviously, I wanted to do something that just really speaks to the brand, the business, and the, and the clients themselves, just based on it being a service-based kind of approach. So, as far as the process, I always do small scale, and then I usually project just to make it efficient to execute with the time that I have, and then I basically paint by number at that point, you know. And the medium is uh, spray, spray paint. paint. Yep. Montana ink, if you will. Uh, very, very high quality artist and professional grade spray paint. And is this oil or acrylic? Acrylic based. It's acrylic. Okay, so it dries very quickly. It does. It, it works really well on drywall especially. So I see some excess tape and <laughs> paper. So what you do, you project on the wall from the drawing that you've already done ahead of time. Yep. 
and then you black that in with your tape and your paper. Right, so really the tape, I mean, tape isn't necessary for some people, but when it when you know when we're spray painting inside on drywall it's you it's very um, very hard non-absorbent so the the spray paint is easily running and so and or it's hard to maintain straight lines and that for me as it relates to my style and my, my design work I just I'm very uh, anal retentive when it comes to sure. trying to maintain those so as it relates to this mural this is kind of a solution <laughs> this is the only solution that I could really uh, put forth to kind of get the product that I want it to be. Well, it's a very interesting composition. So let's talk about that for a minute, the, the colors, the contrast, the focal points. Why Why the choice of these colors? Uh, I think one, I, just as they relate to the subject, they are, I want the viewer to understand what they're looking at, but also understand that they're, it's not a representational uh, or you know, an accurate representation of the subject, but I wanted to have some form of relationship so, you know, there's not a question of what it could be. Hmm. As far as the composition and colors go, you know, the colors often offer a lot of energy to the space, like I said, so it's more interior design kind of choice and decision making. And then compositionally, I wanted to have some form of entry point. Uh, being that it kind of is less heavy on the left side as you walk in through the space and as you move in it kind of gets a little bit more chaotic and a little bit more heavier on the right side moving through the mural so it pulls your eye all the way through the space as opposed to leaving it at one panel or another. Interesting. So I see a camera here, a project is this the projector you use to project the image on the screen? No, so both of these little GoPro cameras are here and they've been recording uh, pictures every two minutes throughout the whole painting process so uh -huh. at the end of the at the end of the process I'll be able to edit together a time-lapse video showcasing the entire sped up process. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to this last panel. This is the one that's most complete, most finished at this point? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, I have to say that so I don't get bogged down and nitpick it. Yeah. <laughs> and so I have to make progress. Wow. Yeah. The colors are so vivid, they really pop out. I, I love that. Thank you. And the shapes are so intriguing to me. I love the different shapes. Really awesome. So how long has it taken you to do all of this so far? So, I would say probably pre-paint and pre-installation from a concept sketch to a final design, anywhere from, you know, probably 40 to 50 hours. Uh, give or take and then beyond that executing this I mean it was around the clock from I mean anywhere from 10 to 14 hours a day last week for a whole week so I mean you're definitely up there in probably 80 to 100 hours give or take hmm, boy so it yeah, adds that's up. more than that <laughs> it adds up and you hope to get it done this week yeah hope to finish it uh hopefully tonight but probably leaning towards tomorrow night okay yeah wow well. well that being the case thank you again for allowing me to come here to interrupt you and to ask oh, questions yeah. if you like this i appreciate so, it what your background in art mm -hmm. are, are you a trained artist what's what's been your background and your training in the art field uh so i went to grand valley got my bfa in art uh emphasis on graphic design ah okay and so then after that i've been I interned with House Industries and David Dotty for a year oh, in Grand Rapids, yeah. and then which led me into uh, being a kind of the lead designer slash creative director for Barfly Ventures and Hopcat for a while, okay, and yeah. then worked for them for about six, and year, six years, and did a lot of graphic design, marketing slash interior design in the end of my career uh, with them. And then now I work for Applied Imaging, uh, heading up their creative department and do a lot of my own freelance work. Wow, so this is not your first mural? No, this is not. This is probably, I think, we're in maybe like 11 or 12, I think. Wow. I don't know. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So I know the owners are uh, Kevin and Kylie Knight. I've met them. Yeah, they great began, people. I think the, the work next door here, Market Zero, I think opened in May. Mm -hmm. uh, and so hopefully they're going to, I think, uh, make some opening here between the two stores and make it be almost like one between Market Zero and Kitchen Zero. Yeah. With this being a showpiece. I love this. Hopefully, man. That's awesome. So how'd you get this commission? How'd they learn about you and your work? 
actually uh, very thankful. I just by a mutual friend, I think um, uh, their Kylie's mother is partners with another person on a business and I'm friends with their daughter. So then we uh, talked and she uh, put my name in and put kind of uh, my name in their ear and they looked at my work and we kind of connected. Oh, that's wonderful. So yeah, that's very wonderful. fortunate. And I must say, walking around downtown Holland, I did that the Thursday night when I was here in the area, nice. and also again this evening. This fits. Yeah. Yeah. This, you think this so? fits the motif of downtown Holland and the the era that we're in right now. Okay, cool. Uh, so I really appreciate the good work that you, you've done here. I appreciate that. So as you're nearing the end of your work and you're almost finished, is this becoming what you envisioned it to be? Are you happy with it? Yeah, I think so, man. I, uh, I, like I said, it's always. Well, it's. I mean, I didn't say it, but. I usually say it. It's just like a, a very interesting journey full of its own challenges and like yeah. points of pain. So, sure. you know, I each mural I do, I kind of forcefully learn something <laughs> about the process or, you know, just anything. When you're spray painting long hours at night, your brain's kicking. So oh, as far as the end result though, yeah, I think it's looking good, man. Well, I, I like love it. the use of space. I love the value. I love the shapes, I love the texture, I love the balance and the sense of unity with all of this. It just, it really comes together. Thank you. And I love how all three panels create this larger sense of unity in the process. Oh, how awesome. Well, thank you, Kyle DeGroff. Oh, what a thank pleasure you. to meet you and to learn about your process, learn about your background, and to enjoy this wonderful art. I appreciate it. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks.